I think that the the difference is like a normal person doesn't think about how many drinks they have. A normal person know? doesn't think at all about it. Yeah, like, yeah, doesn't. It, it never even oh, enters their mind. Then I'm not up. an alcoholic. <laughs> People have asked me that so often. I really. think that you've told me directly that you think you have a problem. No, I have a problem with everything. Dr. Drew kind of an, an analyzed me, and he was like, "You don't. You're not an alcoholic." Dr. Drew tried to tell you that you're not an alcoholic. Dr. Drew would call him right now. Give it a shot. Didn't hey, like did that. we have another question for Drew? Oh, is Bert an alcoholic? <laughs> Well, this is the weirdest episode of a podcast I've ever done. I'm holding a phone talking about my drinking with Steve-O and Dr. Drew. So Burt Kreischer has been on a roll for these past couple of weeks, and it's been pretty hard to ignore. Just yesterday, I was working on a video, and I see him on mainstream news for essentially tackling a climate change protester at a Netflix event. Now, I didn't know Burt Kreischer was a part-time security guard, but the whole thing was pretty hilarious. Not only that, but recently he had an episode of uh, Two Bears, One Cave with Steve-O that was pretty awkward and got a little bit intense when they started talking about Bert's drinking. Now, you could argue whether Bert Kreischer has a problem with drinking or not. It's not the point of this video. I don't really care. and I think he can do whatever he wants. But I always found it very interesting how far he went out of his way to deny it and argue that there's no possibility that he could have a problem. And well... It happened again with Steve-O. Now, I'm not a huge Steve-O fan, but you do have to give him props for actually calling out Burt Kreischer and not letting him just say the most insane things without any pushback, which of course created some pretty intense but entertaining moments on that episode. I haven't had sugar in 74 wow, days. Dude. I haven't had sugar. I'm proud of you, man. Remember, is an alcohol filled with sugar? I haven't had alcohol. Oh, what? Days. Are you serious? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, so you're just like white knuckling it? No, no. I'm not sober. And by the way, so far I've, inter I've interrupted you twice. I'm really trying to be a lot better about uh, that. By the way, don't worry. I'm interrupting you nonstop. This no. is what we do. Keep going. Okay. If you don't like it, I'm so sorry. I, I, I care about improving my... I do too, but I can't help it. Yeah. I keep going. Okay. Um, when, when I was in rehab, right? Like. Um, by the way, always interrupt me if you're going to tell a story about rehab. Okay. Um, why, why did rehab work for you? I, I was just ready, man. I think you were was, you I, were ready. I was ready. Well, okay, here's the thing, because like I, I'm I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing. I mean, I'm gonna drink again one day. I don't know when. I think I'm gonna do it on my cruise. But uh, is, I would have I would have already have drank if you're watching this. Probably, I'm guessing, considering it's my birthday. I'm gonna be in the Cayman Islands. If you're watching this, I probably already drank. Do you? Were you were, was alcohol ever your thing? I mean, I could never even fathom going a single day without it. Really? Yeah. Now, Burt Kreischer did interrupt Steve-O a lot on that episode, but that's not the point of this video, because I think we can all agree that by this point, anybody that watches the solo episodes of Two Bears, One Cave with uh, Burt Kreischer already know that it's essentially another episode of Burt Cast, where he makes the whole episode about himself, which funny enough, ended up working against him because if he would have kept the conversation about Steve-O and asked him what, what he's been up to lately, they could have had a pretty decent episode, but instead, Burt decided to make it all about himself, which eventually led to the conversation about him drinking. Now, I don't think Steve-O went there with the plan to call out Burt Kreischer about his uh, problem, but instead, he slowly started getting fed up and uh, getting tired of hearing Burt Kreischer's nonsense. For example, one of the first things that Burt Kreischer said that was pretty wild was asking uh, Steve-O if he actually had a problem with alcohol or if it was ever his thing. It's almost like Burt Kreischer forgot who he was talking to because Steve-O has a video with over 6 million views on his own YouTube channel where he goes over all the times that he got completely wasted on camera, just on camera. Now imagine all the times that he wasn't obviously he didn't have a problem so that question was pretty silly but like i knew even then that my bones connected to my booze bone and my booze bones connected to my oak bone and my bones you just can't not i thought my bone was connected to my booze bone i thought i really did and that's why i was like when i when i stopped partying I went. I mean, oh. do you get cottonmouth? You're thirsty. You need a drink. Oh no, no, no! As soon as you have a drink, then you need. And then Tom, I was said to Tom casually, we're talking, and I was like, "What's the longest you could go without a drink?" And he was like, "I don't know when the last time I had a drink was." It was like a game changer. I was like, "Sweet, you don't like have a drink at the end of every day?" And he was like, "No." <laughs> I was like, that, "How do you like dial down?" And he goes, "I just sit on the couch." And I was like, "Oh, that's interesting," because I think the majority of people listening right now 
I would argue, I put it on my social media, the majority of people probably have more than one drink a week, I yeah. would think, or yeah. they don't drink at all. I think the, the the difference is like a normal person doesn't think about how many drinks they have. A normal you know? person doesn't think at all about it. Yeah, like, yeah, doesn't. It never even oh, enters their mind. Who like, told me? Someone told me they went to like a, a, a like um only an alcoholic will ever even wonder or think about if they're an alcoholic. Now this was about halfway through the podcast, and this is when things start to get pretty awkward, and the whole show starts to go south for Bert Kreischer because. By this point, he could have moved on. He could have changed the subject and remember that he was doing a comedy podcast and then uh, had a different conversation about it. But instead, Burke Kreischer continues to talk about it and pulls the most insane bro signs by essentially saying that he made a poll on his Instagram or uh, Twitter where he asked his fans if they drank and turns out that they all did. Now, this is when Steve-O drops a huge bomb on Burt Kreischer and obviously caught him off guard because he had no answer for that. Because essentially, Steve-O indirectly made the point that if Burt Kreischer wasn't an alcoholic, they wouldn't even be having that conversation in the first place. Even well, then I'm not up. an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> People have asked me that so often and I go, no. And they're like, really? I think that you've told me directly that you think you have a problem. No, I have a problem with everything, with food, with sex. Like I, 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 everything, I have a problem with everything. That's just my personality. Dr. Drew kind of an, an analyzed me and he was like, you don't, you're not an alcoholic, but you definitely drink too much. Dr. Drew tried to tell you that you're not an alcoholic. Dr. Drew would call him right now. Give it a shot. By the way. Whenever I go to a doctor visit, they're like. By the way, if he says I'm an alcoholic, edit this out. Keep going. <laughs> and Dr. Drew does call back towards the end of the podcast and they have a pretty tough conversation, but. I think it's so wild the fact that Bert Kreischer actually triples down and uh, tries to prove that he's not an alcoholic by calling Dr. Drew. I mean, I don't know what he was expecting from that conversation, but it didn't go well for him at all. It was just a pretty bad look. Now, I do respect the fact that they left all that in and didn't take it out, but uh, yeah, it wasn't a good look and it doesn't stop there because after that, Bert Kreischer shares the most insane theory about how he feels... Uh, about people that are sober or in recovery. Uh, yeah, no, Dr. Drew, I've talked to, if you don't, uh, yeah, if you, think, if you don't think I've talked to Dr. Drew about my drinking before, yeah. you're out of your mind. I also have a theory. I also have a theory. You're not gonna like this theory. Okay. I believe everyone who is an admitted alcoholic sees everyone's drinking problem. I think they, I think it's like they're hyper aware of everyone's drinking problem and see everything as a problem. I, like, cause you, it's really hard talking to anyone that's in recovery and not them not convincing you you have a problem i think recovery is contagious okay um i mean i don't know I, and whatever the, my view on it is that um it's like uh people who have diabetes they're not mad at sugar and they don't like oh, look, i think they are you don't I mean, think it's, people it's, with it's, diabetes want to eat sugar sh well, well sugar is not a bad thing it's just that they can't have it yeah but i think they live a life where they go I would love to be able to eat cake at a birthday party. Yeah, but they right? know they can't have it. Yeah. So, yeah. so, so it's not that sugar's bad. It's just that they can't have it. Yeah. Like I, I uh, just can't have it. Yeah. No, you know? I, so I, alcohol I agree. Is not, with alcohol that. is not bad, and if you're getting away with it, I love it. You know, like yeah. I'm not even saying it's a bad thing. Yeah. You know? And maybe I, you're not an alcoholic. I don't care. I don't know. Yeah. Now we won't even try to break down the insane mental gymnastics that Burke Kreischer just did because I don't even know if he has actually thought that through or if he just said it because he was uh, getting upset that uh, or maybe he felt that he was being attacked by Steve-O and felt like saying that to his face because keep in mind that by this point Steve-O had already called out Burt Kreischer for essentially lying about him saying that he didn't he didn't believe he had a problem and then also for uh, not getting an answer from Dr. Drew right away and something I found very interesting and wanted to point out was the fact that only three years ago Burt Kreischer was one of uh, Steve-O's first guest on his own show, the uh, Wild Ride podcast, and it's now one of their most viewed episodes. So the vibe was great. They had a great conversation, and it was a fun podcast overall. However, in that episode, in the most recent episode of Two Bears, One Cave, the vibe was definitely way off, and you can kind of uh, pinpoint it to Burt Kreischer. Now, I could be wrong, but keep in mind that just three years ago when they recorded that podcast with Steve-O, Burt Kreischer was still doing theaters, and obviously during the past three years, his career completely exploded, and he's now doing arenas and even has a movie. 
So I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but the vibe was definitely off. And then, mm. so it's like you rent the theater, no. like, uh, or you're not renting it yourself, but but you pay the, yeah. the rental fees, whatever. So it's when you get into that second show you sell out the first one you add the second this. show i love this talk and obviously steve didn't agree with burt kreischer's theory about sober people and people in recovery and after that he clearly started taking shots at burt kreischer and feeling more comfortable with you know taking shots and telling him exactly how he feels i went to one of those d doctors where you get ready for a tv show <laughs> who are we gonna call next that's gonna not get fucking blow us up <laughs> Drew's, Drew must be with a patient. <laughs> I, I don't know that uh, that this was a bad one. I mean, we were a little bit all over the place. Not a bad one. Maybe. I mean, yeah, I was telling great stories and you all up, but it's, you know, I, I didn't like it up. well because I got there. I was. I remember I was talking about a bit in the psych ward. That was the juiciest shit ever, and then you derailed it. Don't, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> I just with you, dude. And of course, Steve had to play it off as if it was a joke, but it was the truth. Because before that, Steve was getting into one of his many stories about, about rehab and sight words and all that stuff when Bert Kreischer clearly cut him off and started talking about himself. Which, funny enough, if Bert Kreischer would have heard the story, he probably would have never called Dr. Drew in the first place. Because the story was that Dr. Drew was essentially running the rehab center that Steve went to and got helped from. I mean, I've heard some pretty bad stuff about rehabs and some good stuff about it. I mean, uh, Steve-O is living proof of that, but I'm just saying that if he would have heard that story and knew that Dr. Drew was actually running a uh, rehab center in the past, I don't know if he would have called him to ask if he thought he was, if he was an alcoholic. I had a roommate. Dr. Drew. Yeah, Dr. there Drew. he is. Hey, Drew, you're, you're saving my life here. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Drew. <laughs> Hello, Steve. -o. What's happening, buddy? Hey, my knuckles. No, hey, like did that. we have another question for Drew? Oh, is Bert an alcoholic? Well, you know we have a saying in the program, right? You spot it, you got it. So I'm curious what you think. Um, uh, hold on, that's that's actually my argument. I think everyone in recovery only sees alcoholism because they nope. couldn't. Yeah, what are you fucking? I mean. Nope? The, the literature tells me that it's not my role to diagnose another okay, alcoholic. Okay, we enough. just we just say, hey, if you find that once you start, you can't stop, we have a solution. I'm not pushing well, it on you, but we're here when you're ready. Too. But back to Bert. Bert has a binge issue for sure. Whether that's real mm -hmm. deal stuff, I can't. It's hard to tell. He gets it under control on his own, so it's hard to. You know what I mean? He actually does get it under control, right? So when people ha can do that, it's hard to say, well, you got to you know, follow me. We've got some ideas. <clears throat> so we'll see. You know, when, if he wants help, there's help available. There you go. I love it. I'm good. I, 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 <laughs> the, this is the weirdest episode of a podcast I've ever done. I'm holding a phone talking about my drinking with Steve-O and Dr. Drew. Yeah. Well, I... Uh, I now, Steve-O was a little bit too excited to ask Dr. Drew if he thought Burt Kreischer was an alcoholic or not because it was clearly a ridiculous question and since they were both put on the spot dr drew pulled the typical well what do you think and then steve was like well i can't judge so what do you think and so they just went back and forth and uh, dr drew gave a pretty generic answer now here's the thing i don't even think burke kreischer is that bad with alcohol i think it's mostly the image and the persona that he built around it that makes it interesting to talk about it and make videos about it because I don't really, I don't know if he really drinks any more than somebody like Shane Gillis or Mark Norman or many other people that are daily drinkers. I mean, at some point, uh, Brendan Shop was drinking whiskey at like 10 a.m. in the morning uh, on a Monday on a Monday morning. So again, I think it's just the uh, the persona that he built around it that uh, makes it a conversation topic whenever he talks to somebody that is sober or when he talks to somebody that parties just as hard as him. I mean, it happens all the time with Tom Segura whenever they do Two Bears, One Cave. The difference is that Tom will just laugh at his face and not really engage with uh, his logic and the things that, that he's saying about drinking and partying and all that stuff. Like both you guys, you guys, you know, both you guys do this to me. Do you what? Both scare me. You're my friends, and you do, yeah. And you first of all, first of all, my blood sugar is at 82 today. <laughs> my fucking blood pressure is better than it's ever been. I'm down f almost 40 pounds. Like I, I'm, I, I'm proud of you. Yeah, I know. And, and you look, and, and you guys look. Steve was years into recovery. He's a he's I, I he's, his recovery is a is a inspiration. Very he's much so. I sent him a text of that. I sent him a text of that. 
I've, yeah, trust is. me, I've talked to Drew a lot. Well, I'm allowed. He used to tell me that, that uh, because we were friends, he wouldn't be my doctor. Oh, yeah. But now he's violated his own rule. Um, do you wish you had done the episode with Tom? No. You sure? I mean, I would like to have that experience at some time. Well, have you, do you know Tom? Uh, I, I know him not quite as well as you. You, you, you picked I, the right one. <laughs> I, I know I'm not. Trust me, our friendship, our, me and your friendship is, I, I, I'm interested to see you do Two Bears with Tom. Thank you, man. I appreciate it, brother. I love you. I love you, too. And, uh, yeah, dude, you're not an alcoholic, dude. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> now, I think we can all agree that the ending of that episode was a little bit rough because I don't know if Burt Kreischer is reading the feedback that a lot of the fans don't like his solo episodes on Two Bears with One Cave, but asking the guest if they would have rather done the episode with Tom Zagura is a little bit sad. And look, maybe there is a chance that because of how long Burt Kreischer has been sober recently that he was a little bit cranky and wasn't in the best mood to make a funny podcast episode with Steve Witcher. Uh, that's totally fair. And look, once again, this isn't a video about Burt Kreischer's problem with drinking and all that stuff. I, I don't really care. I've said this before. He's an, he's an old, he's a grown man. And look, maybe there's a chance that because of how long Burt Kreischer has been sober recently, that maybe he was cranky and not in the best mood to make, uh, to record a comedy podcast and try to be funny, which I think that would be fair. So once again, this isn't a video talking about whether he has an alcohol problem or not. I don't care about that. He's an older man. Frankly, he seems like he's a good dad and has a solid family. So because of that, he can do whatever he wants. I don't really care. But again, since he didn't edit that out and... Uh, left it in there for everybody to see i think it's only fair for us to discuss it here and let me know what you think in the comments below leave a like and subscribe to support the channel dislike if you didn't like the video but that is all we have for today see ya